Oops. Okay, for our, sorry about that guys. For our fourth type of construction, we are going to be constructing a line parallel to a given line that goes through a given point. So at the end, I wanna have two parallel lines that go through a given point. So I'm gonna start by drawing a line. I'm gonna draw a horizontal line somewhere below. I'm gonna draw a pretty large horizontal line. And I'm gonna name this line, line L. And then I'm going to pick a point somewhere up above it that I want my parallel line to go through, and I'm going to call this point P. So I want to construct a line that is parallel to line L that goes through point P. So my first step is I'm going to take the straight edge of my compass, and I'm going to draw a line through point P that intersects line L. And I need to make sure that when I do this, I draw the line pretty long both above and below. Okay. Now, where this new line and my point and my line L intersected right over here in the center, I'm going to call this point, point X. Now, step two, I'm gonna place my compass on point X. So I'm gonna put the center on point X. And I'm going to create, or I'm going to choose a radius that draws an arc that intersects both of these two lines. And it should intersect below the point P. So I have to make mine a little smaller here. I'm going to make a nice arc that intersects. Now, leaving your radius exactly the same, not moving the slide rule at all. I'm going to now move my compass over to point P and I'm going to create a similar arc on the line right above P. Okay, there we go. I'll make sure I do it almost all. It's like, oh, it should be almost a half of a circle for our purposes here. Okay, something like that, right? Almost half of a circle. Step three, I'm going to set my compass radius to the distance between the two intersection points of my first arc. So here's my first arc. I want my compass to be set to the distance between this point here and this point here. So those two small intersections. So if I put it on the top one, I want to move my slide rule to get me to this intersection at the bottom one, which is what I just got there. So now, leaving my radius the same, I'm now going to place my compass at the other intersection point above P and do the same thing. And this new arc should intersect this kind of nice half semicircle that I've created, which is why we wanted to make it like a semicircle there. Okay. So you can kind of see it's almost like little X's, right? So where these two arcs intersected, I'm now going to name this point Y. Okay, so now with this new arc, I've got my new point Y, so I'm gonna use a straight edge and I'm going to create line P Y. So it should go through those two points that you've just created. I moved it. No. Whoopsies. I moved it just a smidge. But I have now created two parallel lines that went through a given point P. So go ahead and pause the video and give it a try. Should probably stop the video. Okay, give it a try. <laughs>